Hi, and welcome to episode 3. Today we're going to be doing nuts and tea bags. Nuts, tea bags. Healthy for you. But also use it as a chance to reprogram your brain. You know how masculines get with uh, sexual jokes. Mmm, huh? delicious. Thank you for making it to episode 3. See you soon. Or rather, for me, I'll see you soon. But for you, it'll be like... What seems as a casual jump cut to the average viewer was minutes in the garden for me. Actually, I just made tea and ate some nuts. Had a good time. Enjoy some plants. Plants can be really helpful when dealing with uh, emotions and other things, you know? And also music, music. Um, you know, the opposite of uh, lust and all that can be creativity. You know, you can, if you have cats, you can make a little nice grass bed for them. Um, this is sunflower and just sunflower seed and you can get it from bird seed if you want or local Kansas grass if you're in Kansas. Uh, this is wheat grass. This will turn into literally wheat but um, only if it's outside. If it's indoors it lasts maybe a good month or so. Um, and then what you can do is you could plant this out in your yard and then um, you gotta plant it before it gets too dead looking so that way it recovers and then nature will take care of it. But uh, do be feel free to water it when you plant it. You can do little things like this, plant it in the garden, and then you can have food later. So if you're going through what like um, I'm currently going through where money is kind of a little like mm, iffy or whatnot, um, you can do little things to work around it, like garden at home. You can take chives um, from the store, you know, get some, ooh, this one's a really nice one. Um, you could put it in a thing of water, although you're gonna wanna, um, have it in the water for a few days. Make sure you change out the water and have it room temperature. And you pretty much get chives that will start growing like this. Make sure when you harvest it not to cut all of the limbs off. You want to leave at least, you know, one, one or two of these limbs around. But um, I found that having three chives for just me and my uh, wife, we actually need a little bit more. So I went into the store, got some of these today. So uh, yeah taking care of the family. This is a, I believe like red deer lettuce or something. We ended up not eating as much of it as I thought we would, but um, it produced some nice flowers. We could harvest the seeds, use them for something else. This is some rosemary back here. Um, and then this is a radish. We're experimenting with this. So um, this is a great opportunity for you to heal if you want to try some gardening. And don't get too mad if it's like your first time and it doesn't work out. It's all a learning experience, but it can be a healthy way to cope with going through trauma and other things. Plus, the, the plants will help you heal in more ways than you can think. <laughs> they're basically a life form, and you're interacting with them, and they're interacting with you. And welcome back from a jump cut. Ta get it? Because I... No. I'm kidding. No. Some of you will get it, some of you won't. It's okay! Anyways, we're here back with episode number three. Time to get weird, maybe. <laughs> it's okay. We're all a little weird. Today we got some nuts for our root chakra healing. Um, you know, nuts can be quite healing. You could get them from the park if you got walnut trees and other things. Just follow the squirrels. The squirrels know where they're all at. I mean, who hasn't seen the jokes with squirrels and nuts, right? I mean, take that any way you want. That's really up to you on how your brain has been programmed. Now, again, take this as an opportunity to heal that. If you went dirty with that, clean it up. Clean it up and keep going down that timeline of cleanliness. Um, if you were triggered at all by anything I said about money, finances, etc., that's okay. We're entering a new era where two-dimensional paper money doesn't buy three-dimensional items as easily. Think about it. Paper. What does paper get you? Can you build a house out of paper? No. Can you build a house out of digital money? No. You build it out of your own skill sets, right? You can use money to get to a certain point currently, but with the way things are going, eh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going through my own struggles as well. That's why I started doing things like this. Getting scrap wood out of the trash, building things out of it. Um, you know, 
going to the woods, getting logs, cutting it down. Now I can use this as a fuel source, you know? Um, and you can get herbs locally too. You can get uh, pine needle, all sorts of things, make teas out of it. Those will be uh, really useful in healing. Uh, oh, sage. <laughs> also, if you don't already know this, and you might not agree with it, and it's gonna, it might trip you up when you first do it. It trips me up a lot. But sage. Sage will help you get rid of some of your egos. Um, you could literally just circle your body with it, you know, like really get it in your aura field. You might not agree with auras. That's okay. Take it step by step. We're here to introduce tons of different methods of healing. Every single one of them have different, uh, different things, you know? Woo! Make sure to breathe it in. <laughs> and, uh, you could go around the whole house, too. That will help you. Definitely clean. Cleaning your house helps a lot. Alright. Let's get into the healing. So we already talked about art, plants, and other coping mechanisms to help you get through your... We'll say, we'll say struggles, because some people might not like the idea of an addiction, and that's okay. That is okay. Take it step by step with where you're at. All right, now we can get into some stories. Um, gosh, you know, in uh, high school, I would get questions because I felt so much shame and guilt that some there would be uh, men that would be bragging about watching porn and stuff, right? Um, the school gave us iPads. Now, we were the first generation to go through the technological change. They didn't lock them. They didn't do any of that. And let me just tell you, some people, I'm going to tell you, they watched it in class. <laughs> On an outside perspective, it's funny. On an inside perspective, it's not funny because it's an addiction. It's not healthy. Um, you can objectify women. You can objectify men. You can... Um, We'll say misuse your imagination for harmful things. Um, you could look, it could even get to the point, and this is true and horrifying, to looking at animals and children differently. Um, if you are that far in, there's a lot of other resources for healing, and I highly recommend you do the healing because it's not fun. And if you were a child and experienced that, and that's why you ended up where you did, that's okay. That's okay. I have I have family that have been, you know, through the sexual assault, through the rape, through through the trauma, and it's it's never easy. It's really never easy to go through some of these things. Um, so let's go ahead and take take a breather. If you haven't been breathing already, that's okay, you know. Breathe. <sighs> Let that stress out. Smile when you breathe in if you can. If you can't breathe in, like, if it doesn't feel right to smile when you breathe in, that's okay. A little bit at a time. You will eventually get to that point of smiling and breathing in. And... Take the time after you breathe, look around you, and ask yourself, is this is this two-dimensional money that made this? Or is this like my own hands? Is this like somebody else's own human hands? Like, what really what really got it here? Trading, right? Taking resources, making something out of it, trading something, and creating, right? We're still working on a whole a whole level of a brand new system. Well, oh, that's okay. Um, so another thing I want to point out to you is you can use copper, and this will help you if you work like a lot in a factory. Wow, I really cut up my hand, arms here. <laughs> um, you can use copper, and you can clean it with kiwi. Oh, by the way, kiwi. Um, look at your nutrition facts because it says on there that it's like uh, contains more than I think it's oranges, and then more than bananas. So if you're short on money, get kiwi instead of bananas and stuff like that. And they'll help your money go a little bit further with nutrition. Um, you can also start cutting out at the extra meal and doing um, energetic healing in the morning. And that will help you push further. 
Um, this could be things like Om, <laughs> you know? It sounds crazy, right? It really sounds crazy when you first hear it and you're, like, your ego's like, dude, like, no, people are going to judge you. That's going to happen because fear is trying to hold you back. Ow, my brain hurts from there. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, my brain literally just got, like, back here. By the way, do the meridian tapping on your head if you haven't already. Um, if you hit your head or you've gotten hit on the head a lot, you can do gentle tapping where you're, like, typing on a keyboard. You can bring your arms here and then, like, loosen up all of this. Be very gentle because it's easy as a male to get very, like, aggressive and, like, stern and do this. That's going to hurt. And then you can imagine as if you're massaging your brain, your deep tissue. You can imagine it as lasers if you're more sci-fi. Just really dig into it. Ooh, you could even imagine it as like digging up dinosaurs if you wanted to, you know? Just get fun with it. Bring your child, bring your child into it. Um, that's actually another good point. If you have a family, learn from your child. If you have a cat, learn from your cat. Look at life from their lens. Get down on the ground as silly as it can be and look at the world from a different perspective. If you have a dog, look at it from their perspective. They're innocent at the end of the day. Um, silver, supposedly it's going up and it might, you know, like surpass gold and they use it for UFOs. Did you know that? They use it for UFOs. Anyways, you're not supposed to know that just yet. <laughs> um, so the silver is... It has a lot of properties, magical properties, and it'll enhance uh, like materials like copper. Copper is, you already know they use that for electricity, right? Pretty common. You can also use it for like arthritis and other methods. You can use a, uh, well, I had a spear over here, but since I don't have it with me, I'll get Garnet. Garnet's good for the root chakra. Um, and I'll do it like here. And since I ran across country, Garnet is really useful for the groin and the hip areas for me. So I have like a lot of lumps and stuff like here. And through touching myself aggressively, um, you know, taking out my being alone, frustration with life and stuff like that, I was very harsh towards this region of my body. I was very, it's like having a abusive relationship with yourself because it's like oh i hate myself i hate my life blah, 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 blah. you know so take the time take care of yourself massage yourself it might be a little tricky at first if you are still battling with lust that's okay you know i found it difficult when i first started you could do things where you um you masturbate but don't do it to anything specific. Just go with the feeling. Go with the feeling, not the visual images. Shove the feel. Get rid of those visual images as much as possible. Focus on how your body feels. And I want you can massage it, and um, you know, see how it feels. Really interact with it. See if it hurts. Um, and you can compare um, that to let's say the last time that you did it. Compare, start learning, start experimenting and have fun with it. Don't um, feel like you need to be so serious and stern on yourself and hard on yourself where if you slip up, it's the end of the world, you're gonna die, blah, blah, blah. That's okay, I felt like that too. <laughs> and let me say, I just got humbled, my, my booty hole got humbled. <laughs> That's a joke, a way of talking, anyways. So silver, important, copper, important, garnet, important, nuts, important, work on it. You know it, work on it. Tea, important, tea bags, important, <laughs> work on it, work on it. Um, <sighs> so I got two different teas, some nuts and crystals. That's okay. What are we at? We're at like, I don't know, like, 15 minutes or something. Human time. It's so confusing sometimes when you get in the zone when you're like, what? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna ground myself a little bit because I'm getting a little too airheaded with this. That's okay. Um, so let me talk about some more traumatic things for me. Um, so when I started healing with healing, I started with the brain um, dealing with things of 
being okay being alone, um, shame, guilt trip. Oh gosh, guilt tripping was a big one too. Um, ooh, relationships when you get in a fight or a disagreement and you internalize it instead of reflecting on it like, what did I do wrong? How can I like heal this? And how can I help the others so that it doesn't happen again? How can we discuss this to get on a more um, level? I don't want to say level playing field because that sounds competitive, but I guess you could use your competitive nature if you play video games in a healthy way where you're, you're competing to heal yourself. There you go. There's a healthy way of using it. Competing to heal yourself, but do not use the superiority part of it. Um, that can become toxic, where you're like, oh, I'm, I'm better than you. That's what it's going to sound like. How does that make you feel when somebody's like, oh, I won and you've lost? Don't glow. You can internalize and be like, oh, you know, it feels really good to have healed this. I feel like I just won something that was really hard. Like, I just won a match against, like, I don't know, a level 500 boss that's like a demon and he's like three billion times bigger than me, you know? And he's got like big muscles and big horns. You can imagine that. If you can conquer that, you can conquer the world. Ouch. Okay. I was a little harsh on my body just now. I put a little too much weight into it. <laughs> that's okay. I'm still learning the lotus position. Um, supposedly it's supposed to help you. So I'm experimenting. Oh, by the way, I'm a life experimenter. So that's where I've got all of this knowledge from is healing and experimenting and trying different things. Um, I did notice when I tried, uh, watching a lot of videos online for like, uh, porn and lust healing, it wasn't the best for me. <laughs> I actually learned that working on like my brain worked better and then sometimes tarot videos helped but those could be toxic too depending on where you're at like if you're having let's say relationship struggles um tarot videos might not help with that depends on what it is um but at the end of the day we are all here to help each other <laughs> words man words <laughs> We are all here to help each other heal and become better. Um, shit. Yeah, I, I, I think that's good for now. If you do your homework, you're going to notice the difference. Um, you could do meridian lines, crystals. Have fun. Look up a bunch of different things. Don't take it too serious. Um, treat it as if you are treating your brain. Learn. Your brain loves to learn new things. Um, if it doesn't learn love to learn new things, then figure out what you love. Figure out like, okay, how can I exercise my destructive behaviors? How do I exercise my, um, I don't know, jealousy or whatever it is, whatever you're dealing with in a healthy manner. Um, and if it's really, really, really bad, like all you see are negative images. Just draw, draw, paint, do something, create something, um, channel that energy into woodworking, you know, that supposedly your rabbit is also supposed to have woodworking in it, so, I don't know, you can get wood for cheap, go out to the woods, wood, look, wood, cut it, carve it, all you need is like a saw and, I don't know, like, you could get a knife too, a knife works too, kitchen knife if you really need to, although don't scare your wife, because, like, if you're Random, weird, dark reality that could happen, but like, it's fine. It's fine. Just, just heal. Um, and that's all I want you to do right now for today's session. Just sit with yourself. Really, really analyze what's going on. You can journal. Um, a great thing you could do each and every morning and say it at night to say it, write it, sing it if you need to. But um, you can write down like, I'm healed of this, I am healing from this, um, I am healing from lust, I am healing from uh, grief, shame, guilt, and whatever energy else comes with it, because when one demon comes along, let me just tell you, 
They bring like seven other ones and it's like, dude, really? <laughs> Just work through it. We're all we're all going through it. This is like spiritual warfare or whatever you want to call it. This is like sixth generation warfare. You know, we had World War One, World War Two, physical warfare, right? Now we're moving into a different dimension. It's gonna get a little weird. Really weird. And you know, I've had a lot of doubt in myself on this journey and through my understanding of doubt it helped me understand how would one um, view something for the first time how would I view uh, agnosticism or I don't know what's what's the Indian religion uh, whatever <laughs> just learn something you can also um, look at other religions compare them to your own and their practices and that will help open your mind as well so if you're in the religious trap for example where you're like only christianity only this only that explore learn from others if somebody has like radical opinions than what you have you got something to learn from them and they have a lot to learn from you don't get too heated but allow yourself to understand what's going on and they'd be like you know that person does have a point with this like why have i been acting this way versus that dive into it have fun experiment um if you're like more scientist treat it as a science experiment set up a little table and be like day one hour blah 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 test tube number <laughs> actually don't do the test tubes it sounds a little weird <laughs> do whatever you want it's your life um so that's it for episode three. Mm. Um, mm. And drink lots of water. Ooh, shungite water. You can boil your water, add it to shungite, and um, the shungite will help you a lot. It also helps filter the water. I'd give it about a good 24 hours um, between the boiling and um, shungite filtering it before drinking it and that will help you clean out any toxins because sometimes our water supply has like fluoride chlorine and other things by the way iodine another help uh, another healthy component to help in you with your brain um lion's mane another good one you can chop it in half or cook it like a steak it will actually literally taste like the tendons in steak it's interesting or you can shred it up and then put it on the skillet and it'll taste literally like beef i'm not kidding it will taste like beef and you can mix it together with other things and it, it, it's like it's wonderful um it's a mushroom by the way so maybe you might be like oh it's so expensive i'm like okay but look at meat prices like have those been going up it kills an animal not in the not in the best way either and i'm not here to support vegan or meat or whatever i'm just saying what i've experiment experimented with and noticed um also if you are getting stuck in your head where you're going back and forth 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 you know how it goes then um what happens is you're probably getting a, a brain split between your left your right brain and that can happen from too much sugar intake i noticed um i went through a sugar purge and then i tried cereal and then it ended up it felt like it split my brain right here and it freaking hurt so bad and i was like how did i eat this as a child how did i eat this as a grown adult um you can try things like that take a break from certain things like salt it's going to be a little challenging so find little replacements to counteract those um you can wean off of it but take a break from it even milk milk yeah milk it causes joint problems not not kidding i get it hurts i took a break from all of that um cheese can also do the same thing just take a break from different foods. See how it makes you feel. Um, cleanse yourself with water. The whole shebang. Do your research. It's great. Learn. Um, take every day to look up 
something new, try something new that could help you surpass what you're dealing with now. Um, because you want to get your brain reprogrammed where you have like a billion optional paths beyond just that one of looking it up, searching it, blah, blah, blah. Don't do it. You know it. You know better. You know better. Come on, work with me. We're helping heal the whole global collective and the masculine energy. We don't want to be children over here misbehaving in a way where we're like, we're over here like, like a, right? You kind of feel like that in the moment. Um, and that's not to insult anybody. Ah, <sighs> and breathe. If you feel like your brain is going nuts, breathe. Breathe. Ooh, Wim Hof breathing. Look it up. Try it. It's actually quite interesting. The more often you do it, the more you'll start feeling it affect your body. At first, it may feel like your body's screaming at you, saying you're suffocating. That's just a fear. If you sit with it long enough and surpass it, you'll actually notice it's like your body starts getting tingly and healing. Sometimes you might even get a little buzzing in the ears and you're like, I'm hearing more clearly. Try different things. Anyways, I love you. And until next time. Well, you know, hopefully you watch the next video tomorrow, today, whenever it feels comfortable. Take it little bit by little bit. Even rewatch some of these videos if you have to. Just watching them can help you. You know, work on something, watch it, or just sit in front of it and watch it and go like, what did he just say? Spirituality? You, what? Huh? That's okay. You know, sometimes I do that too and I just need a break and my brain's been fried by like overactive. That's okay. That's okay. Um, laying down on the floor can help your back too if you have a lot of back problems. Sleeping on the floor. Great. Absolutely great. Don't, don't use a pillow. You know, you can use one if you have to, but like the flatter you can lay on the ground, the more you can reset your whole body and it'll be very healing. And keep your spine as straight as possible. Don't slouch over. Also, if you hunch in like this because you like sleep on your side, it can cause a little more tension in your, your heart region and your breaths will be more shallow and cause anxiety. And, you know, I did say goodbye. So, like, yeah. I'm going to go do some woodworking, contemplation, and come up with some more material and dive into more stories to bring you tomorrow or today, whenever it happens. Love you. Take care of yourself. See you next time.